So uh, author box. At the end of every blog post, uh, most people want to show an author box, which is um, who wrote the post, a little bit about them, perhaps a way to connect. Uh, and so I'm working locally here. I have installed a blank version of Frost. This is what you see when you activate the theme. Uh, and so up here will be the four uh, patterns that we're going to build today. So again, uh, typically Frost ships with sort of two versions of each pattern, like a light and dark. Uh, it's very easy to, uh, and I say that subjectively, of course, it's very easy to take a pattern and then change colors. But in the spirit of trying to help folks out and give them a few options for each one, uh, we've been typically um, adding both light and dark versions. And so uh, in this walkthrough, I will only just do the light version. So uh, this is an author box. You can see it's got the author avatar. It's got uh, my name. It's got the description of me and then there's social media icons. And so what I'll do is I'm going to go back into the dashboard and I'm going to just build this on top of what's there there just so we can kind of have it for reference. Um, but I'm going to pop open list view very quickly so we can see what we're looking at. Uh, each one of these is within a group. And so this block here is a group block. And inside of it, you see the avatar block, the post author name block, the post author biography block, and then the social icons. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go in and I'm going to just start building this. And so at the end of each uh, particular pattern that I build, we'll have time for questions. Uh, if, if you see something that I'm doing or want some clarification, uh, please feel free to just drop it in the chat so we have them ready. So at the end of each pattern build, we'll just go through and just kind of address any questions that may have happened. So uh, like I said, this is wrapped in a group block. So I just added the group block here. And so what I want to do, you can see that there's a border around the group block. Uh, and I'll do that at the end, but I want to add the avatar first. So you can see we've got the avatar here. I'm going to just go ahead and add all of the things I want. Um, yeah. Wrong block. This is WordPress has two different types of author. Um, author blocks, we want post author name. So there's my name. Uh, this right here is going to be the author bio. So I'll get back into my group. Post author biography, and we've got some social media icons. So I will come in here and add that block. Uh, we're going to just do a few. We'll add Twitter and we'll see, you'll see that obviously uh, these each of these blocks needs to be styled and have settings applied to them, which I'll also walk through uh, so that we can see how we go from just inserting these blocks to um, the final product. Okay, so I'm going to pop open list view. And so here we again, oops, WordPress is finicky. Okay, so here's our group and we've got the four things that we need in there. Uh, for starters, I am, I've got the group block highlighted and I'm going to style that a little bit. So I'm just going to go here down to border. I'm going to add the one pixel border around it, which you can now see. Uh, and then I want to add a little spacing because we want to have spacing. So, uh, frost comes with what's called step spacing. And so you have the ability to sort of go through these, uh, essentially t-shirt sized steps. Uh, you can also pop that open if you wanted to do a hard coded pixel value. Uh, and I believe there's other units that you can use as well, but uh, because Frost is sort of intrinsically built so that we can uh, use the step spacing and the fluid spacing, which means the um, it's into Frost, it breaks down very well on mobile. So we've got our group uh, wrapped in a border and we've got some padding. I'm gonna go down to the avatar block and I wanna have it centered. So I'm just gonna come up here and do a line center. And because I want border radius, I will go to the settings section over here for the avatar and I'll just throw in some border radius. Uh, similarly, the post author name, I wanna center it and I wanna make some changes to it visually. So uh, I will maybe just make it a little bit larger. You can see some settings. If you wanted to link that to your author archive page, you can, uh, and so on. 
So I've got my name there. I'm trying to remember how I got that bold, but, uh, and this is uh, the post author biography. Uh, and that is found if you go edit, I won't go there yet, but if you go to your edit user screen, there's a section in there called biography. What you put in there is what gets output in this post author biography. Uh, next, we'll go to social icons. A couple of things we're going to do here is we want to align them center. Uh, and then you can see they're sort of grayed out. That means that we have not assigned any links to them yet. So for the sake of shorthanding, I'm just going to kind of fake these links. And you can see them light up as I do it. Okay, so now we've got colors, which are great, but we kind of don't want that. So we'll come over here. This is the settings for the social icons block. I'm going to go here to styles. And I want to change these to all black. And so uh, we can do things like this. You can do, that's bad for accessibility, of course. Uh, you could do different options like logos only, pill shape. Uh, you can even do outline. And I'll, if you take off the background color and do something like this, then they become outlined. So, uh, but in the spirit of keeping things as we've designed them, We'll go back to that. Uh, okay, so we'll see here that there's some spacing here in between uh, my name and the text. This is because block app is applied within the group, which means um, by nature of the way the theme is set up, there's a 30 pixel spacing in between every block. Uh, what you can do is go into the block here, dimensions, select margin. If we unlink this, we can then change this the margin on the top of that particular block, which then allows that to kind of go up. So this here is the author, the post, well, yeah, the author box. I'm going to hit update, and then I'm going to go back to the front end, and we'll just see that we've essentially built that. Now, again, there's some extra spacing here than we see here. Uh, similarly, I will go up to this. I will come down to margin, and I will... You know, if I want it right up against, I could. If I wanted to do a little bit, I think that's what we have. And so we'll do that and you can now see. And of course, because we wanna have a little fun, we can also do all kinds of really interesting, fun, stylistic things with this. We can change the border to dots and so on. So uh, if you like the coupon look, you could do something like this. So I will back that up and hit update again. And so we've got our author box. Uh, in the spirit of showing how simple it is to just flip this down to like the black version, uh, I'm gonna select the group. So it's the whole thing. Uh, I will go here to the group settings. I'm gonna change the background to black. Oh no, what happened? Well, very easy to take that, change that to um, text white. If you have any links in there, I would also suggest just changing those to white just in case. Uh, you can see the social icons have changed. So uh, we will do this. We will invert. We'll add black. Uh, and just to clean things up, this has a border on it from before. We don't need the border. So I'll just come here and hit reset, which blanks out the border. Uh, if we do update, come back up here. And of course, the picture is hard. Um, now, one one small caveat, and this is an issue I plan to actually submit to GitHub for the Gutenberg plugin. Um, the avatar block does not have support for border. It'd be really nice if I wanted to do like a white border around this just to kind of give it some frame. Uh, but I did find out that that is not a setting. Uh, I would love to see that as a setting. Uh, so actually, I stand corrected. 31 pixels is not what we want. So um, I didn't realize that was an additional setting. So there we go. Now that looks good, black and white. So lots of things you can do. I, I'm going to take a break and allow for questions. Um, Sam, if I can pop the, the chat open, or if you don't mind just asking the questions, I'd be happy to go through and talk through this. There aren't any questions in the chat right now, Brian. Um, there was a clarification over whether this is if you're using Gutenberg or not. Um, yeah, gotcha. And then um, I do actually have a question. What version of WordPress are you using in this demonstration? Uh, I am using the latest version of WordPress, so WordPress 6.2, um, which I think from what I remember, Frost requires it just because there are things that Frost leverages in WordPress 6.2. So you can't activate Frost unless you have 6.2 installed. Uh, and at this point, because we're deeming Frost as a production-ready 
uh, theme out of the box. I do not have the Gutenberg plugin active. Perfect. Thank you. Yep. All right. So we have the author box here. And if I, as I start to build the next one, if for some reason uh, a question pops up, then we can come back and uh, address that also.